It's time now for Kara's Cures, and we know that a workout is good for our physical body, but what about the deeper parts of ourselves? Author and leadership coach Kate Ekman is here to tell us about the full <laughs> spirit workout, a 10-step guide to shed self-doubt, strengthen your spiritual core, and create a fun <laughs> and fulfilling life. Scott? Welcome. How are you? <laughs> I'm great, how are you? Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so I gotta ask the first question, what is the Full Spirit Workout? So the Full Spirit Workout is about building our inner musculature. So it's about creating strong mental, emotional, spiritual muscles that can really weather any storm. We're building that confidence and resiliency and optimism from within. Just like we need strong physical muscles to navigate the our outer world, we need these strong inner muscles to navigate our inner world and combat against emotional gravity like stress, fear, COVID-19, anxiety, pick your poison. All of this stuff is around us trying to weigh us down. And this is building the muscles that can really withstand all of it. You know, Kate, to prepare for the interview, I was reading your book. I really like it because I like anything that's practical. And there's really like 10 steps of what to do so we can have that emotional resilience. You know, you were once like us, a TV news reporter, anchor, and then you felt this calling. I'm ended up in Africa, but one of your steps is you have to stretch your comfort zone. I think to some people that feels scary. It absolutely is scary and it's very uncomfortable because we like being comfy, right? But really anything worth having is just outside of our comfort zone. And that's when life gets really juicy. And from my experience, when we're willing to put ourselves out there and stretch, the universe rewards us and helps us along our way. And so really you have to think of this comfort zone as an arbitrary boundary in your mind based on fear. And you can shut it off anytime and say, I'm done with you. I really need to start living the life that I say I want to live. And and just be willing, you know, our good intentions are not enough. We have to be willing to stretch and really put ourselves out there in a meaningful way. What, what are the signs that I would need my spirit worked on? What is it, depression, anxiety, <laughs> what, what, all of those or things? Or just being human. Or just being human. <laughs> It is just being human, correct. There's there's so much going on in our world. As you know, it's uncertain, it's chaotic, it's stressful. I, I even call our society sick right now. And so I think we don't even realize how stressed out and bogged down that we really are. And when you do these exercises, these inner exercises, just like physical exercise, your body starts to crave it because you just feel so much better. And rather than striving to make this happen or get this and try to force and control, we become the men and women who can automatically attract the relationships and the money and, and the goals and, and the experiences and opportunities that are really going to help us actualize our full potential. You know, you come from that world of going to elite universities, being an elite athlete, coaching executives. So all of us who are so familiar with do, 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 you say, actually, we need a to be list. What is a to be list? A to be list is, is how you want to be that day. So on my list today, it could be confident carefree, energetic, kind, compassionate, and then going throughout your day and really making those things a priority rather than I have to do this or get that. And then again, like I said, you become the person that attracts your cherished goals rather than having this mentality of, of fear and, and stress and anxiety. So there's actually some practical things. I know Scott's going, Ten oh, steps. that sounds good. But if you're a list person or a, a doer, like maybe Scott is, and I can relate to that as well, there's some really practical things in here. You even guide people each chapter as a guided meditation. There's some action steps, each of the 10 steps, so that by the end of the book, you've developed some spiritual muscles. Yeah, and there's journaling exercises. So we're really getting deep here. A lot of people, we're all guilty of living up here on the surface level, and that's not where change and growth happens. So I'm asking you the questions to really get underneath the hood of the car for you to really discover who you are underneath your labels and titles and all the things that you present to the world. I have the Coach Kate check-in, which are questions that I ask all of my clients with whole person coaching techniques, and I've infused neuroscience and positive psychology. So you really are building building strong inner muscles. These exercises do work because I'm the proof. My clients are the proof. And sometimes the exercise isn't doing anything. Like we said with the to-be list, it is those moments of stillness. A great practice I'd invite everyone to try starting today is five minutes a day to sit and stare. Stare out the window, stare straight ahead, and just let yourself process and reflect and connect with yourself, which sounds so simple because it is, but it's not easy for people to 
put all the distractions away and really check in with themselves. Should I be concentrating on breath during that five minutes or should I, what if I have the same ruminating thought over and over again and I'm just trying to get rid of it? Oh, that's such a great question. Thank you for that. Yes, absolutely. Just go to your breath. I try to even consciously move from my head down to my heart and just check in. If you're feeling stuck or struggling, pretend you're a a small child for a moment. How would you check in with a small child? You would say, how are you doing? What do you need? what's working, what's not, and and really being more gentle and kind and compassionate with ourselves rather than you didn't do that. You got that wrong. Oh my gosh, you have a million things to do. You don't have time to sit. And what I say to people who say, I don't have time to meditate or sit and stare. I say, well, I don't have time to be angry. I don't have time to <laughs> yell at my loved ones. Yeah. I don't have time to be miserable, quite frankly. Exactly. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> You know, I, some years ago after doing Kara's Cures, I did start a meditation practice and now I understand why people say, I have to do this because it does make a difference. And in the days maybe you skip it, you notice it. So uh, that's really the proof. If you kind of want to, if you're interested in this, you can follow along in the book. There's ways to start, like you said, with just a few minutes a day can make a transformative difference. Absolutely. And even I have a client who said, I can't do five minutes. And this person is is a billionaire, high achiever. I can't do sit and stare for five minutes. So he started with two minutes. So even if you start with 30 <laughs> seconds and give yourself that time to just breathe, I promise you, you will want to make it a part of your daily practice. And especially when you just notice that your relationships are improving, you feel more confident, you feel more at peace within yourself and your body. You don't even have to try so hard. People are emailing and calling you and giving you opportunities. I promise you this stuff works if you do, but it is like going to the gym. You can't just show up in your cute outfit and have your personal trainer do your sit-ups and pull-ups for you. You do have to put in the work, but it is so rewarding. And if even if you're resistant at first, easy does it. Just give yourself some grace and space. And I promise you, you will start to develop these inner muscles and, and your life will look and feel a lot better. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's a great example for our kids too. Thank you so much, Kate. You can visit Kate at kateekman.tv. And again, the book is called Spirit Workout. You can find it anywhere. And again, Kate Ekman. TV. If you want to check out her website, she does some daily inspiration on Instagram too. So thank you, Kate. Thank you, Kate.